Welcome to the station! Free MMO station, I'm Skyland Shore, and today I wanted to give you a, a re first impression on Skyforge, a new free to play MMO. FreeMMOStation.com As you can see here, we are in a really gorgeous setting here, and I can say that for all of Skyforge. Really unique setting, really unique world, lore, all of it aesthetically very interesting, very new. So stick with me, just kind of watch it. It's, this game is this game is art. Just appreciate it with me. <laughs> Basically, I'm doing a lot for suppression, and you guys can watch me play some games here. All right, so I'm playing as the Berserker. I know, guys, everyone plays the, as the Berserker. It's pretty much because it's freaking awesome. I can switch classes if you want, and I'll, I will definitely switch. You know, I'll do that for you. I'll switch, and we'll watch some people play some other classes. I don't play Cryomancer, but whatever. Anyways. So as you can see here, this is one of the open world zones. It's not exactly an open world, um, but it is open. It, it is instanced though. The, you know, the game is mainly instanced. Uh, as we go play through this large open instanced, I guess you could say, uh, I will give you my thoughts and opinions on the game, and I'll show you some of the different abilities and some of the different classes. So yes, we are running at the highest settings. So as you can see, the game is gorgeous. Here's my character. Oh yeah. Not too much customization there, but anyways, we're looking at the gameplay. We're going to see how intense this game can get. Anyway, so we got a little quest here to download these probes. As you can see, there is like this open questing. Uh, however, you can't complete it with people. There is like monster tagging and stuff. Uh, however, they don't take up resource nodes, I believe. Yeah, see that research probe didn't disappear. So that's pretty good there. Um, overall, the questing and everything is pretty okay. I, I like it. It's very social. Alright, so we gotta do a couple of things. We gotta activate uh, uplink terminals. We have to do ancient glyphs. Now, what's really cool is that no matter like where you are, you almost always have multiple quests to do at any one time. Okay, so eliminate the Toby in the outskirts of the ruins. So these are these things. So let's go and uh, attack these. All that. Oh dang, that guy just demolished them. Now I believe there is tagging. I'm I'm pretty sure. Let's go check it out. Here real quick. There's a lot of people playing guys. There really is. There's a huge population. I'm really hopeful of this game. A lot of people are excited for it. Um, but respawn times are super short. You know, you don't ever got to worry about waiting on respawns. Like, it, they're pretty much always there. So, anyways, we have some monsters back over here. As you can see on the map in the bottom right. So, let's go jump over here. Try to use our number two. Woo! And use our number one. Oh, yeah. Spin to win. If it looked really easy, it's because it is, but this game actually has a pretty high difficulty setting. Also, I'm in like some super OP gear, uh, because I'm in Founder, so we get like a little bit of a boost. So yeah, guys, if you get a Founder pack, um, be really happy because it kind of like, it does give you a little bit of an edge starting out. Which is good, because the game is it, pretty difficult, to be honest. Alright, so we can kill a couple of these, we were like at 25%. Okay, 32%. Yeah, so we're just gonna roam around and while we, uh do these probes we're gonna go kill these little tobies the monster design is pretty interesting in this game but these are trash mobs they don't they're, there's zero threat to us like absolute zero there's they, they do nothing however as you see I ran out of resource so berserker is really good at farming he really is as long as you keep his resource up all right so we got something to do over here ancient uh, we got a little quest here ancient glyph very close to one of the energy sources. let's go do this Interesting. Okay, we did that, and I think... Oh, that thing turns hostile, so let's attack it. Woo! Oh, yeah. The game is such a huge spectacle. It really is. Executed. Oh, snap. That's, that's uh, pretty cool. Kill these things. Receive our reward for, for halfway completing that uh, quest, I believe. Download data from the research probes. Yeah, we're still gonna need to do that. Where's the research probes? Over here. Well, there's one over here, right? No, that's not where it is. I can kill these things. Okay, so for as long for quest completion, there is no tagging, which is good. Um, I, do, I, I think the tagging might be just for um, items. There we go. Okay. So I think we need to run, let's try. Let's check out the map here. Yeah. Okay. Where are the freaking probes, bruh? Oh, there's a probe right there. Why don't you guys tell me? Oh, whoops. It is kind of awkward that the action button to activate stuff is space. <laughs> just jumping all over the place. Oh, gotta get our resource up, so... Let's just auto-attack. 
even though I just said auto attack, the game is actually very combo based. So I can uh, I can swing once and then um, swing again with a different button. Woo! Here I'll show you real quick. So if I go to um, escape, here we go. A left click, right click, left left click, right click, left left left, right click, and then also in between that you can cancel any of that out, and that combos to do your different abilities, and then some abilities can cancel, um, and then you can do different abilities. So I can use my number one, and then cancel into an E or a three, and overall it kind of plays like a it plays like an action RPG, and really I, I consider this an action RPG. All right, so I think we are almost done with the probes. I want to do the probes even though it's technically like filler quest, just because I, I think I, I just want to get points and level up, and I, I'm a completionist. So I want to do that. So there, here's a research probe. As you see, I've already gotten this one, but it respawns. So if you are kind of lost and you're just roaming around in circles, um, that's totally fine. So that's one class. That's the gunner class. As you can see, he has a little bit more trouble with burst damage. Um, we can actually switch to him right now. I'll show you how. You can switch classes at any moment in time. So let's go ahead and go to the gunner class. And we are going to change class. Whoop. Have it set to the class outfit too, so you can see what the class outfit looks like. And there we go. Definitely reminds me of some Star Wars shit going on. Absolutely. So, start, this guy is really cool, actually. Very interesting. Oh, we completed our quest. I also like how the completing quest, the open world quest, you just hit F to, to complete it. You don't have to run back to anybody. Anyways, download data from the research probes. We got a couple more probes. Um, this class is pretty cool because he actually, um, instead of the Berserker, which has combos, instead of that, uh, we actually have a weapon swapping system. So, every class is pretty genuine and pretty unique. Like, they play pretty differently. Not just fill different roles, but they play differently. So here, I'll, I'll hit escape. As you see, we don't have that combo tree. See? Berserker, combo tree. Gunner, no combo tree. We actually have weapons that we switch out. Cryomancer has a charge and then some other stuff. Paladin has a combo tree. Lightbinder does not have that. Um, there's a couple of other classes, uh, but that is um, advanced classes. They're not any better, but they just uh, you unlock them later because they're a little bit harder to, definitely harder to use, actually. My favorite so far has been the Necromancer. Absolutely. Alright, receive our reward. Okay, so what you're seeing as my reward, Sparks of Destruction. Here, I'm just trying to explain the game. Um, we go back to our inventory here, and I want to show you how we level up our different classes. You know, like, uh, we, we do have, we unlock these and how we unlock all that. I'm going to show you. Okay, so we got to go to K, right up here. And this is going to be our, kind of like a sphere grid sort of system. It's a little bit more linear, but there is some, some little branches that you can take. And then, uh, so you just go up these lines. So this is the gunner. And I go up these lines and I can level up the gunner and they get kind of bonuses and everything. You get these different abilities. See, ability, teleport beacon. Sets a beacon up at a select location. When used again, the character is teleported to the position of the beacon. So, yeah. You get these different abilities. You get these different buffs. You go up these. And then you can kind of branch out. And if you want to unlock new classes, you go to the Ascension Atlas. And depending on, the, you know, the class that you have unlocked, you can uh, basically just like the other, th this one. This one gives bonuses to a single class. This is how you unlock classes and get general bonuses as well. Talent, cleaver, man oh, oh, oh my god, clever maneuver, sorry guys. And then you can unlock, uh, there's a god's form, that's, uh, this is pretty cool. In divine form, the immortal gains additional abilities, so that's pretty much the goal, you want to get to the god's form. Um, we can unlock the archer, the slayer, the slayer is a freaking ninja, it's pretty cool. Um, and then we got the, the knight, which is kind of like an evolution of the paladin-ish, I mean it's a little bit different. I think it's more, it's like a berserker slash paladin mix. Of course the berserker, which I already have unlocked because I'm a founder and I'm awesome. Oh, by the way guys. Free of most stations doing a giveaway for founder packs. BTW. Class Kinetic. The Kinetic seems like a brawler, like a fighter. Yeah, so there's a bunch of different classes that you can unlock, and you have to play the game in order to unlock them. Like, you have to really dive into the game. But those classes are, like, really advanced and hard to use. They're not any better. They're not any stronger. They're just harder to use. All right, I'm going to show you some of the moves for this guy. Homing Missiles is our execute. <laughs> it's freaking it's freaking ridiculous, because when you use E, the monster will actually try to run away. It's uh, pretty cool. All right, there. What is this? I want to see. This is crazy. This freaking. I've never seen that. That was some dot hack sign shit right there. That was a pretty cool ability. It was that an ability? No, there's nobody with that ability. Okay, that was a monster. We will be fighting those monsters. Okay, so anyways, we gotta go somewhere else. We gotta go this way. Okay, so let's run this way. Um, this class is pretty cool. It's got a couple of AOE abilities, but for the most part, it seems like it's just supposed to be like, you know, overall uh, DPS. You know, it's the it's the marksman. Alright, so, um, this is pretty cool. Whenever one ability, or, like, whenever you use, uh, one gun too much, it overheats, right? And then you... The I got a little bit of voice acting here. 
See, now it's shooting slower because it's overheated. I press Q to switch it to the other end, and I use the other gun. And it's got its own set of skills that I can use. And basically, and that's how you play this guy. It's pretty freaking interesting, if, if I do say so. I think it's I think it's cool. Now, the archer plays totally different as well. Just saying, guys. All the classes, regardless of melee or ranged, can be very, very different. Sometimes there's charge attack, sometimes there's combo attack, sometimes there's combination. Either way, e even if, like, you know, the Paladin and the Berserker, they seem similar because they both use combo attacks, they're actually very different. Alright, so what do we gotta do? We gotta destroy these golems? Alright, let's destroy these golems, bros. Alright, we got a flamethrower that we can use here. We got this attack we can use, and we're gonna... Homing missile him, he's gonna run away. Ah! And you're dead, bruh. Oh, we got it. We got to stand up. Oh, there we go. Um, okay, eliminate the golems in the labyrinth of knowledge. Okay, so we got to keep eliminating these guys. Switch here. That thing does a lot of uh, chunking damage, but this does a little bit like faster damage. So you have more more often you're gonna crit. There we go. This is so Pew! And you need to read you need to read your skills pretty carefully, as well. Some of them have status effects and all that good stuff. That you like from MMOs. Really strategic stuff like stuns, CC, CC immunity, leaps, all sorts of crazy stuff. Alright, so we we did it, we eliminated the golems. But now we're going whoa, we got a we got a bonus here. Up oh we gotta go to the uplink terminal. Let's go. Oh, we knocked that guy down. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta switch weapons now. Switch. There we go. Now one thing that you're gonna notice is that uh I, I am using a gun, but I'm not really aiming it. The game is like a uh, automatic tab targeting targeting kind of thing. It's really interesting. Oh, there's the uplink. Um, this is see this uplink can bring us back to it's like kind of like a checkpoint kind of thing. Anyways, so that's the uplink, but uh, we want to go this way to do these quests. And let's just take in the scenery real quick. And I think this is a good time. Some some more voice acting. The voice acting is pretty good, I think. For this game, by the way, guys. Um, okay, so I do like the quest. It is very story driven. Um, of course, we're doing open world quests, and they're kind of usual. You know, gather this, kill that. Um, but you know, in between that, right in the middle of it, you know, you're not going out of your way to do these side quests. The side quests just happen to be on your main quest, and you have this nice story component to it. So it, it does play more like an action RPG versus a standard MMO. So we can level up our gunner class. Um, I personally don't care about the gunner class. I think Berserker's awesome. But I think we're going to switch over to Paladin because I said it was kind of similar to Berserker. I'm going to show you guys how different Paladin can actually be. So let's change this. Here we go. And here is the Paladin class. Okay. Paladin. Okay, if you guys watched actually my live first impression, I played as the Paladin class. So I'll just do this for a little bit. We got this chest we're going to open up here. Just some ancient junk. <laughs> Alright, we got that stuff. Um, we got a quest here. Search the dead... So oh, there's a guy. He's dead. And we gotta search his body. Alright. Search his body. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna run past here. Um, the Paladin, the Berserker does lots of AoE damage. Like, the Berserker is the damage class. Like, he does lots of damage. Single target, lots of damage, uh, AoE. He's very bursty. Um, he's, he's kinda high risk, high reward. Uh, depending on how you build him. Overall, Berserker is pretty, I, I, my, in my opinion, my favorite. I mean, of course he lacks range, obviously. Uh, the Paladin is safer, though. He's got more shields, more defenses. Uh, probably more utility and support as well, more CC. But I'm also not too far in them. But what's really cool about the game is that you can test out and play with all the abilities of the classes level 1. You just go into the training simulation and go, uh, yeah, you just do that. So, anyways, let's keep questing here. Destroyed Golem. Alright, uh, nothing happened there, I think. Um, obtained components of destroyed ancient golems. We gotta do that. And then what else have we gotta do? We gotta eliminate Raider Scouts. Oh, shit, what was that? Oh, we gotta kill this guy. Got some interesting combos here. As you can see, it's not standstill combat, but it's not free movement like uh, World of Warcraft or Guild Wars. It's kind of like Terra, but 
It uses, I don't know, it's it's actually completely unique, I, I have to say. It's, it's arcade, but it, it feels really weighty and good, and I like it so much. I'm really digging this game, guys. I really am. So we can kill these guys. Use your number two, which is a shield. As you can see, we do much less damage. Like, the Paladin is the starter tank class. Oh, we are blinded. Because we were blinded, we could not target. Here's our execute. The bug zap. I know you guys had fun with that whenever I did my first impression. The bug zap is freaking cool, though. There we go. Okay. So, Paladin, overall, I'm... I don't, I don't like the Paladin. I don't play in groups. I'm a solo player, so Berserker is definitely my thing. I can say that over and over again. Let's go check out some of the other classes. Um, we have Light Binder, which is a healer, which is not really uh, good for solo play. I will be, s and then we have Cryomancer. Uh, Cryomancer. All right, let's 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 do it. Let's do it. I'll show you guys Cryomancer. Let's do it. Why not? Ba bam! We're a mage now. We got some freaking cool abilities here. We have charge attacks, ice attacks, um, free, well, basically that's it, I mean we just use ice. I would like to see a pyromancer class. We have a cryomancer, I'd like a pyromancer. I would maybe like a mage that just uses lightning. <laughs> uh, it'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so like, this, this guy is AoE range damage. Uh, versus the gunner, which is single target range damage. At least that's what I think. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe later on you can spec them to do different things. I'm not too sure about that. And I think I think the gunner is more just damage, where Cryo might have a little bit of CC. I mean, that's just what I'm guessing. And then we can freeze him, attack him. See, we do a lot. Of, we do a lot more damage than the paladin, and this is just like doing normal attacks. So a little bit more standard. We don't have um, too many abilities unlocked for these guys. Let's go to this ancient glyph here. There we go. Download complete. We got that. That thing turns hostile. We don't actually need to attack it though, so we're gonna pass it. I think, right? Ah, uh, let's fight it. Why not? Attack it. Oh my gosh, we do so much damage. And look at that. We freaking freeze them. It's crazy. All right, so we got this. Um, we got we, we got a there he is. There he is. Scientist body. We got to go check that out. Do the sign. As you see, some mobs don't aggro. Some will. Um, this is a starter zone, by the way, though. So it's super easy. Whoops. Keep clicking that. It's it's pretty easy. Eliminate the raider scouts. Oh, this is almost done. So let's let's complete this. Charge up this attack and boom. So we can do a huge charge attack, or we can just do basic attacks. There we go. So that's it. Cryo is pretty basic level one. But uh, especially the advanced classes, as you level those up, it gets pretty hectic. So we are going to go switch back to our Berserker. That is my favorite. That's what I'm most skilled with. And it's, I don't know. It's just the best. Best class, guys. <laughs> ba Boom! Now we have the Berserker. All right. Uh, for those who are a little bit interested in the itemization of the game, which is something that I could talk about, um, basically you upgrade stuff. It's really super simple. It's nowhere near as convoluted as Dragon Nest or Vindictus or other Eastern games. Uh, basically, where's the bag? The bag here and equipment. Basically, you have a weapon and then you can upgrade the weapon and it takes these enhancement stones. Enhancement stones are used, oh, it's like I disassemble a weapon or an extra item that I have. Fuck that weapon. Boom, we get these enhancement stones. If you want the higher level of enhancement stones, you combine older enhancement stones. It's super easy. You take two to turn that into one. Take two of those, turn that into one of those. I mean, it's really that easy. This ring of luck, fuck that ring of luck. I don't need this ring of luck. Disassemble that bitch. All right, cool. <laughs> Excuse my language. Oh, let's open that up. I mean, that's basically it. You have these weapons. Every class has their own weapons. It's, um, it's basic, guys. It, it, nothing too convoluted about it whatsoever i really like it so here's my equipment here's my character freaking awesome um i got some really good stuff because of the founder pack here it's gonna help me grind through some of this stuff uh especially because i did play it before i already know what i'm doing but uh anyways that's gonna help out and it looks freaking awesome you even if you get the founder pack every one of your weapons has a unique um like visible thing like it just looks different so this has like a, a different uh effect on it and when i spin it's like a little bit extra glowy it's pretty cool if i do say so Obtain components, so we gotta still get the components for these guys here. 
Um, we gotta get a bunch more actually, so let's go to these destroyed golems. As you see, I am dashing, and to the right you can see uh, an X1 and then a dash symbol. And then I have an X1 and then an execute symbol or a lightning bolt symbol. A smite symbol. Smiting is just a way to execute a person without wasting your uh, resources or your time. So as this guy gets lower, I'm gonna be spamming E. Sometimes, sometimes you just do so much damage that you don't even need to execute. Uh, sometimes you do execute. Anyways, it's good to execute uh, high health targets. So we completed that quest. Now we're gonna go on over here. Could do a little bit more. Oh, we have mounts as well in this game. There's not too many super open world areas, but mounts do, I guess, kind of help. This is mine. This is, I mean, this is a silly mount, but uh, you get two, I believe you get two mounts with the founder pack. I get this one, and then you get a much more sincere and more interesting one, to be honest. This one's just kind of comical. So we got these, mo oh, dang, that, that attack did a lot of damage. Holy shit, dude, fucking laser beams. All right. I'm gonna, I wanna get in on this action. No! I want some of this. There we go. It looks like this guy. Dude, that guy is way over leveled. This guy is huge. I'm just kidding. I'm actually higher level than him, I think. There we go. Just clearing it out. Eliminate the skates. Yeah. Do some of that. Um, so we kind of skipped a quest over here, so we're going to do this and we're going to finish up the video here we're talking about Skyforge. So Skyforge has dungeons, it's mainly focused on dungeons, but it does have these open instance areas, which I think is a really good compromise. In games like Dragonus or Vindictus, the game is essentially just dungeons. And there's nothing wrong with that, but if you're playing solo, if you're playing with random groups, it's not a terrible amount of fun. This adds a little bit of casualness to the game. It, it, it gives a lot of, uh, it gives new ways to grinding. So you're not just doing the same dungeons over and over. You can go into an open world area and go grind and do that and do some quests. And this way it's a little bit more story driven. It's a little bit more social. Um, in some ways it's a little bit more casual, I guess. Um, just because it gives you a way to play with other players or, or, organically, I would say. Woo! And you can test out some new combos here safely. I mean, for the most part. I don't know if there's going to be some open world areas that are really, really big. Um, this one is a little bit linear because it's floating uh, platforms. You know, there's only so much space you can go on. Some others might be a little bit bigger. I don't know. Sky Hunter. So we're just hunting these down. Oh, what is this? Wow, let's fight that thing. Woo! So one thing that I know about the Berserker class, at least, is managing your resource is super important. Because it's so easy just to spam all your abilities and waste everything. Um, but normally that's, that's, that's in dungeons, you know, in dungeons when fighting bosses, it gets pretty hard. It, it really does, guys. Like, this game is truly challenging. Um, I know it looks like a walk in the park, but it's just an open world area, and I'm, I'm over leveled. Um, but the game truly does have a sense of challenge to it that I'm really finding. And I, you know, in a lot of games, you don't really feel that. Like, in Dragon Nest, I had to be level, what, 40 before I actually, like, died in a dungeon. Um, so yeah, the true challenge pretty much starts right away. You get a nice challenging game. Oh, this is a uh, boss here, a, a little open world boss, so we're going to fight this. See, as you see, I'm almost out of uh, resource already. Do a couple combos, do as much damage as possible. Yeah, it's not as action-packed as Dragon Nest or Vindictus. You know, you're not going to have those physics, you're not going to have those crazy abilities, you're not even going to have as many as abilities. But what the game is, the, what it's doing, it's, it's unique, and at first it might be off-putting, because it's kind of a blend between action and standard MMO. But I think it's a really good compromise. I think it's it's really novel and interesting, especially considering PvP. Guys, PvP in this game, I think I think it's pretty good. It, it might actually blow up. Uh, this game is actually really good for guilds. You know, you have guild versus guild, or in this game it's called Pantheons. Um, there's some really good content for guilds and for PvP arenas. It's just a lot of fun. Anyway, so this is just some gameplay. Me showing you um, what Skyforge plays like, what it looks like. I'm telling you my thoughts and feelings, and this video is definitely long enough. Um, so tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Open beta is starting in a couple of, uh, a couple of days, and if you want, free MMO stations have a giveaway with the founder packs. Um, but I actually, honestly, believe the game is worth buying a founder pack for. It's truly solid enough. Um, it's worth. It's definitely worth money. I'm actually surprised that it's not a buy to play game. It's, it's really good. You get so many cosmetics right out of the gates already too so 
Uh, Skyforge, two thumbs up, definitely. Hopefully, you thought the gameplay was impressive. Uh, I had fun playing it, and hopefully, you do too. I'm Skyland Shore with Free MMO Station. Like and subscribe so that you can stay, well, I guess, tuned in for all sorts of free MMO stuff. <laughs> That's it, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again later.